Greetings, this is the Car Doctor, coming to you with a quick tip for owners of Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep products with the 5.7 Hemi motor. If you're experiencing engine misfire codes, rough running condition, then uh, watch a short video and I'm going to help keep you on the road. If you're the owner of a 2003 through 2011 Dodge Chrysler Jeep product 5.7 Hemi motor, and you're experiencing engine misfire codes like P301, P305, etc., and a rough running condition. You may have a cracked valve spring, and I'm going to show you a couple tips on where to look. I would say a great first place to start is to install a vacuum gauge on the intake manifold vacuum and monitor the intake manifold vacuum. If the gauge fluctuates rapidly, then you likely have a cracked valve spring that needs attention. First tap into the intake manifold vacuum supply somewhere in the system, then start and idle the vehicle. If the vacuum gauge fluctuates rapidly, it's an indication of a cracked valve spring. Second step would be to pull the engine codes and go to the identified cylinder and run a compression test. First tap into the intake manifold vacuum supply somewhere in the system, then start and idle the vehicle. If the vacuum gauge fluctuates rapidly, it's an indication of a cracked valve spring. Second step would be to pull the engine codes and go to the identified cylinder and run a compression test. First, a compression test on the identified cylinder is in order, and then you might want to pull that valve cover and inspect those springs on that cylinder, both the intake and exhaust, for any cracks. I like to apply a little bit of pressure with a uh, pry bar uh, and see if they move at all. Sometimes a crack is a little hard to identify visually, so take a close look and make sure. Very common problem with this engine platform, and uh, it's not too hard of a fix. If you do have a cracked valve spring, you can use pressurized air and an on-the-car valve spring tool remover to service that spring. Once you've replaced the affected valve springs, get your valve cover back on, reassemble the engine, clear your codes, and you should be good to go. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel now. And you'll be privileged to all the latest uploads from the Car Doctor. Good luck with your pairs, and thanks for watching.